Islam and greetings to you all. This video is in response to a brother named Shaka Ndugu Kimi. This brother, I believe, works for the CIA or the French intelligence version of COINTELPRO because he has an incessant hate for my people, particularly those into Islam in the United States of America. You can find this very depressed and lonely brother doing hour-long videos talking to himself about Wesley Muhammad because he has nothing better to do in his little den in France. The only reason that I am responding to this brother is because one thing no one will ever do is say that I purposely lie to them about anything that I teach on. If I am wrong about anything that I have ever said in the public, I have went back on the record in the public and admitted such. These people have to keep you mired in the slave label of blackness to keep their masters happy, and they must keep the so-called quote-unquote black dollar coming in because there is a profit to be made in ignorance. The brother asked me specifically, did we copy the Nation of Islam's 10-point program word for word in the program of the Moorish American Party? Before this, I asked the brother, did he have anything established for my people? And he said no, and this was his way of diverting the topic of him being the division monger that he is. Let us take a listen to this exchange. Oh, man. What's good? What's good? <laughs> Islam. Islam. Peace. Lord, have a peace. Peace, peace, peace. peace. Islam, Islam, Lord, Islam. Islam. Huh? Islam, Islam, Islam family, y'all already know. Islam, mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm listening to the show, and, you know, I hear the brother on Shaka and Dugu, can it Islam to you? You know, you, you ask a lot of questions. I, I'm, you know, I'm calling in to ask you a couple questions right now, if you don't mind, brother. Uh, before that, can I ask you one question? Of course. <laughs> you want right. to ask me a lot of All questions. Right, it's I, heard, ask the question. I heard last time you were talking with, uh, nah, brother, with uh, uh, Teddy, ask the question. and you mentioned something. You don't want to be questioning? Wait, do yeah, you want to be questioning? Hold on. Hold you, on. Because it seems like you don't want to be questioned. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 nobody yeah. asks you anything. Go ahead, Ab. Go ahead, Ab. You had the question first. You can't answer. Okay. Go ahead, Ab. What's your nationality? Because here this guy go. So you're, you're basically telling me you're not going to answer no questions right now. Yes or we no? We do one one. Okay, you do one, I do one. Well, yeah, there you go. You, you, don't don't follow, you, don't, you don't follow no Pakistanis either, do you, do you Ab? Oh, no. My, you, you, yeah, no, no, Drew Ali took many pictures so that we can know exactly who he is. <laughs> and, and, and oh, yeah, where from. Yeah, I, you know, I, have, I have several, you know, I have several things going on myself here, you know what I mean? Even after my last show that I did on Morris Science Radio last Wednesday, I was actually contacted by an actual politician that liked the message that I was bringing with the Morris American Party. Excellent. You know, I, I do the teaching, you know, the teaching that I, I do do, you know, whether you disagree with it or not, you know, I do my part in, in putting information out there to the people. Uh, I'm dropping uh, several people. books over this next couple of weeks. You know, doing things for my people. So I want to ask the brother Shaka, what programs or, you know, what do you have established over here in the United States to help my people right now Get up out of the muck and might. I have the Morris Science Temple, the Morris American Party, the Morris American Community Outreach Operation. You know, things that we, we, we're we doing and planning to do for my people right here, right now. And I want to know what do you have established to help my people? Mm. Okay, uh, to answer your question, um, I do not have no so called uh, political party in America. What I do, I teach the truth. I don't do no homosexual scholarship yet, like you did with the Talmud, with um, Noah's son, Solomon, so and all that. Okay, no, hold on, brother, hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, I'm not nothing nothing brother. Here, Listen, brother. brother. Don't get excited, brother. It's all good. It's all love. Next, um, I don't copy somebody, uh, another organization's program, like the Nation of Islam 10 point program word for word, and have it as a program for the Moorish American Party. That's what I don't do. I don't like it. I don't people. even know what you're talking okay. about, and you don't know what you're talking You know talking exactly about. what I'm talking about, Lord. About. I made the Thank video. You, 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 the Moorish American Party, you have the, the same exact program as the Nation of Islam 10-point program. Do you deny that? All right, listen, brother. Do you, you deny that, that yes or no, right? Lord Abba? Listen, listen, brother. Do you deny listen, that yes brother. or no, Lord Abba? Well, of course I deny that because that's not true. You know what I'm going to do, right? 
I'm going to download this portion of the clip, and I'm going to put a video out there that says Afro Stally, a.k.a. Shock and Dougal Kimmy, has nothing, nothing established for my people. What is he? Who is he? What is he doing? Mm, well, you can do that, but I, I, I have his mm-hmm. blueprint mm-hmm. already on the website. It's, it's a matter of public the record. Party or the Nation of Islam 10-point program is adapted into the Moorish American Party. I'm going to put point for point of my Moorish American gender agenda next to that just to expose you further. Like, I don't even know who you are or what you are. I don't even like your style. I'm just going to keep it official with you because you got, like, this ambush style about you. But you're not doing nothing for my people. And, oh, mm-hmm. Lord, I- so we have this brother obviously admitting that he has absolutely nothing, not one thing established in the United States of America for the salvation and liberation of my people. Let me also state to all that this brother blocked both of my YouTube accounts, all for simply challenging him to some form of debate so that he can stop slandering me in his videos and on the Amin Ra Squad show. He was too Afrocentric for those Afrocentrists, and they kicked him out. So he did a rebuttal video saying that I was lying about the copying of the Nation of Islam's 10-point program. Let us take a listen to what this very dishonest brother has said. You have the date highlighted there, June 13, you click on it. Like you have to click on that link there, okay? And once you're there, stop, there we go. You see there on the top there, you, you can read, right? Everybody can read, I, I guess. MoshiAmericanParty.org, you see that? What the Muslims want? Okay, let's click on it. What the Muslims want? Let's find out what he said on their website. <sighs> there we go. So, you can see it. What the Muslim want? Want, we want freedom. One, we want freedom. Two, we want justice. Three, four, okay? Let's count. You know, supreme mathematics? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you are free to read it all, and then anybody can tell me if it is not word for word the same exact ten point program that the Nation of Islam had. And not only there, I, I did bring it to the little homie, he was screaming and shouting, but uh, it was a matter of public record already, because at the time when I made a video, uh, I showed that, I showed the screen print from, from this. But you can, anybody can see, can just see it for themselves. So, um... Now, first and foremost, anyone that was following the site knows that the brother who was running the site always puts up quotes of Elijah Muhammad and Marcus Garvey along with Nobu Drew Ali. This was our way of keeping the connection between these great men alive and we would regularly post their articles. Now he gave you the date of June 13. Take a look at the title of the home page two days prior on June 11. It says three wise men referencing Nobu Drew Ali Marcus Garvey and Elijah Muhammad and it is accompanied by a video of the same title. We prove this by scrolling down on the page that you can see that this was the honors that were being paid these great deserving men. So now let us get back to what this brother is saying that I lied about. Here is the screenshot when you click on that link. Look at the caption of the article. It says, this is the question asked most frequently by both the whites and the blacks. The answer to this question I shall state as simply as possible. Now, everybody knows that Moorish American Muslims do not promote the socio-political constructs of black and white as pertaining to any group of people. Shaka knew this, but his ceaseless hate for everything Moorish blinded him to this simple fact. Now, I want to bring you to the actual program of the Moorish American Party on the same site. Notice it is two months later, and that particular link is removed. It was just something thrown up to honor Elijah Muhammad as we honored Marcus Garvey while we were getting the site in order. We as Moorish Americans already have a similar article that came out before the What the Muslims Want article called Demanding Hours, where we are not talking about what we want, for we already have and was putting the European nations who are governing this portion of North America on notice of such. When you click on the home link, 
you will clearly see that this is the political agenda of the Moorish American Party as it was put out in August of 2010. You can clearly see that none of the NOI's 10-point program is within our program. And this is what I was responding to when I told this very disingenuous brother that we do not promote that program and it was not in our program whatsoever. We already have ours. So here, another easy refutation of a very lonely YouTube scholar. This proves further that these agent provocateurs will stop at nothing to keep you locked into the European system of blackness that they, the Europeans, have created for our people. This brother lives in France and cares not about the plight of our people politically here. If you want to read this agenda, though it is two years old, you will find it on my Facebook page in my notes in detail. A newer agenda is being worked on now. Notice, the brother did not respond to the video that I called him out on entitled, Are All So-Called Black People Moors? Because he has no substance. He is just a YouTube scholar, a video blogger, that sits around waiting for Wesley Muhammad to post up another video so he can obsess over it for hours. Now, let us take a look at the rest of his video. Before I exit, just going to give a reminder to people because this little army fraud Arba, uh he's been a move for three years okay you're going to listen to him in 2009 just listen to him now see i understand the message no i'm not into islam i'm not muslim i know for a fact that our peoples and this is to my brothers in the more science temple are not descendants of canaan and are not descendants of Moab. we have never called on the name of a god allah Ever in our story, we were forced to call upon that name. And I challenge anybody in the YouTube community to basically just prove me wrong. He and a lot of brothers, some who even claim to be Moorish Americans and others, keep bringing this particular video up. Before I continue, I want to take you to an interview that I did with Sarnetta in Harlem last year. I said, I'm no scholar. I'm just like everybody else. I do not look at myself as a scholar. I do not look at myself as a great speaker, a great orator. I'm just a brother that's spitting knowledge. But I got sense enough to go and do the research before I say a thing. I learn from my own experiences. That's why you got YouTubes up there of, of dudes getting on me now. First Lord <laughs> Abba said this, then Lord Abba said that. So, you know. Nah, you better learn from your mistakes and grow from them. Dr. York said it best. Only a fool ducks when the truth is thrown at him. So, I mean, I'll I just start catching the truth. This was said because I was wrong about what I said in the initial interview that these guys keep posting up. The Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America, also known as the Circle 7 Quran, teaches us this. True wisdom is less presuming than folly. The wise man doubts often and changes his mind. The fool is obstinate and doubts not. He knows all things but his own ignorance. Prophet Confucius said, The faults of a superior person are like the sun and moon. They have their faults and everyone sees them. They change and everyone looks up to them. That is me. I am a human and I make errors and I make mistakes. And we teach that Allah alone is perfect. As a grand sheik of the Morris Science Temple of America, subordinate temple Atlantis in Atlanta, Georgia, I hope that all of my members see this video and feel assured that we cannot hold ourselves to the mistakes of our past because it is impossible for us to go back and change them. It is the holding on to these mistakes that causes us to keep repeating them and it makes us obstinate like the very brother that I am responding to in this video. The sleep of reason produces monsters. Since 2009, my heart and my pen have been guided by the will of Allah to bring to you a true accounting of our history. If you go through my YouTube page, Lord Abba 9, you will see that I have been able to compile absolute empirical contemporaneous modern day artifacts and accounts of historical data coupled with living testimony of those whom still until this day know that they are Moabites, especially in my two videos, 
The Ancient Canaanites, Moabites and Moors, Part 1 and 2. I admit that I was wrong in 2009. Now they are angry at me because I am correct, and not he or any of his contemporaries and their various squads have mounted a rebuttal as of yet. My notes on Facebook that I have compiled using scholastic methodology shows and proves 100% that we were in fact the ancient Moabites and Canaanites, the Moors of North Africa. Yes, I have proven my own self wrong. We were not forced to call upon the name of Allah as my research shows. I will do a later video on this showing the complete transformation of the God El to the God Allah, who in essence are one and the same of the true gods of our forefathers. Let me also say about the light skin thing he keeps bringing up. The reason why I brought that up is because these brothers are very light skinned and screaming that they are black. When you can clearly see that they are not even brown skinned. That is why I made the statement. We just we show up in Amsterdam, we start calling hotels and ask if they have a Maria staying there. I don't even know her last name. Dude, it's totally cool. We're definitely going to find her. Amsterdam is a very small place. Sir, it's not going to be. I need you to step aside, please. Need to search you. Did I beep? Oh, no, you didn't beep. Just a random security check. If you could just uh, step aside, please. Just over here. Random, huh? Yeah. So this has nothing to do with my ethnicity? Come on, just, just do what the guy says. Sir, it's our job as airport security to search for all possible weapons or illegal drugs. So just because of the color of my skin, you assume that I have <laughs> drugs on me? <laughs> you a racist? Racist? Dude, I'm black. He's black. He's not racist. <laughs> please, dude. You're barely even brown. No. He didn't mean that. Compared to me, you look like Matthew Perry. That is why I made the statement. Guys like this will enforce division by twisting up my words so that people can look at me in an ill and divisive manner. But it is his videos that proves that he is the divisive one and is just disingenuous. The very reason why he blocked me from his YouTube page because he cannot scholastically face me. So it is clear this brother is some sort of groupie that hangs upon my every word and yet he has admitted that he has done absolutely nothing for my people, but claims to be a teacher. But he, in all intents and purposes, is a polemic slanderer of anyone who is into Islam, or more specifically, claim Moorish descent. Again, I put the challenge out there to Afro Stali, a.k.a. Shaka and Dugu Kemet. I will personally fly to France to debate you in front of a neutral audience so that no bias would be abound. If Shaka can defeat me in a debate, I will remain in France as his student for six months. If he loses, he has to come back to the United States and do missionary work for the Moorish Science Temple of America wearing full Islamic garb wearing a fez. That is how confident that I am that I will defeat him rather easily in a debate, he or any of his contemporaries. That I am willing to put my very ideology on the line if he can even prove one iota of it wrong shows that I am serious and willing to not have this debate through a YouTube comment section or a back and forth YouTube videos. I am compiling several books right now and have no time for this hater unless he agrees to the debate in its terms. So in that, I leave you all in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Shaka or Afro-Styly, you should learn to love instead of hate. Peace.